the feeding is, after all, the single most important thing she's doing for the baby. And so if it doesn't go right, the baby struggles or won't feed, is sleepy. And very often they're sleepy, aren't they? Yes. Hospitals are so hot, baby's yeah. slightly jaundiced and they sleep and don't feed. Then I think it's inevitable. The mother will get very emotional. Yeah. And then if the staff come in with conflicting advice as well, and any lack of support, any slightly negative yes. feeling, and the mother is just yeah. going to be in tears and... So this is an, is an attempt to see things from the mother's point of view. Most mothers feed their babies readily without fuss and without a book full of rules. Of course, sometimes there are discomforts and difficulties, but many of these can be overcome with a little help. Nonetheless, a doctor can only offer help if he understands not simply anatomy and physiology, but equally important, the mother's attitudes and feelings. Breastfeeding can start in the labour room as soon as the baby's born, if the mother wants. The suckling mechanism is ready for action straight away, and the sooner the baby makes a start, the better. Now, this baby, Helen, is four days old. You put her up to the breast soon after birth? Within the first hour. In the labour yeah, ward? Labor delivery, yeah. Yes. Yeah. And she's been up how often since? Oh, every four hours. Every four hours. Now that's not as frequent as some people would no. like, is it? That's when she's woken. So throughout the first day, the new baby can be put to the breast as often and as long as the mother wants. A little help in fixing may be needed, but there are no other limitations. 